see anything. All right. That's stand number one. We're gonna see if we can do it in five stands. So it's, uh, it's a Saturday in January and uh, we've headed up, we're up uh, to the top of the Cape up in the dunes and up in the more open areas try and do a little coyote hunting and he wants to try and break in this new gun so we're looking for a spot where we can get a little longer shot i'm just backing him up with the 22 and he's got his uh his new 20 gauge and i'll let you tell him a little bit about it i'll let you tell him I'll let him tell you i can tell you you can tell him all about it second stand we're headed out we should be whispering but whatever I know this is a dumb idea, but I couldn't pass it up. Holy crap. Ooh. Whoa, on the way back, I'm gonna remind myself that I'm 50 and I'm not gonna do that. Halfway across that, I was like, I'm gonna fall. But I didn't, so that's cool. of the knoll. We got a big swamp over to our left. So I don't know if we'll get anything. I'll get it on camera. Hopefully he's got his camera if he shoots something. We'll see. But this is uh, stand number three. And uh, hopefully something happens. We'll see. All right, as you can see behind me, the light is definitely setting. Uh, we have not. This is our fifth stand. It's a crazy stand. Andy likes this spot. It's a huge salt marsh with a creek in it. We were somewhere else, but then the tide came in, so we had to move spots. So it's a long poke, but he's got that rifle. He's got that 20 gauge. That, with that scope, he can shoot out to 200 yards. I got the 22, which can take something at 15 feet. So I'm kind of out of the game right now, but here he comes and we're going to set up here. This is going to be our last call of the night. And, I, and uh, it's the fifth call, which as I said before, one in five is our, our, our average. It's going to screw up our average if we don't pop one right now. Okay, I have... Uh, found a quiet spot um, kind of in a neighborhood but but plenty distance don't worry and uh, gonna set up I have climbed up a blowdown here a partial blowdown it is um, resting in another tree I checked it's gonna be fine as far as it's not gonna fall out of it knock on wood and I'm gonna fire up the uh, coyote call. I've got my uh, Savage, the 20 gauge, and uh, it's been doing a good job. I've got two down with it so far, but I'm gonna see if I can't get one to come in close enough that I can film it. So let's uh, 
See what happens. As you'll see in this video there, the oftentimes the first thing to respond is crows, uh, owls, or hawks, just because they can hear it and get here faster. Uh, let me just show you my setup here. I've got uh, sitting in a blowdown, so kind of a half blowdown, but the uh, call is down here base of that uh, pine tree there, basic to the middle to the left. Wind is blowing this way. So what I'm hoping for is that they would set, they come in through around here, or off slightly to one side there. And a lot of times they will come in and just hold up like along the, the edge here. Uh, I didn't see anything coming in. Um, but it's tough to see them in this uh, brush, which is why I like to get up. It gives you a, a better look down into the brush. If you can, um, tree stands are great for this, but uh, I find that every once in a while you can find a good tree to climb up to. Okay, well, nothing at the last sites that I've been to. It's uh, actually another day. I found nothing the last few days. Um, keep going to the same spots. Um, I found a spot now that I've taken um, coyotes before. We're going to try this. I've again gotten up off the ground into this blowdown here. It's plenty secure, plenty strong. Uh, I checked. It's only fallen down within the last year or so. Um, just gets you up above so you can look down and gets your wind, you know, your smell up and out of the uh, where the coyotes are. But it lets you look into this brush because it looked good. And down on the ground, it's a lot tougher to see down into that. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm still just hoping to get to... Um, Hoping to get some film of a coyote coming in. So far, nothing. But, all right, let's give it a whirl. Okay, that uh, <clears throat> that first spot didn't work out. Nothing came in. Um, I've gone to another spot now. I'm up a, a deer stand this time. Again, I like to be up. I'll show you the, the view here. See, so you can you can see down. Into all that, into all the shadows and everything from up, instead of everything blending. Call is over here to this side. Wind is going this direction here. Uh, ran into a doe on the way in. Big doe. I haven't seen any deer this year while I've been in the woods, so that was kind of nice. But uh, I'm gonna fire this call up and. Uh, See what happens. Hopefully I can get one in close enough to get some video. Nothing in that stand either. Now I'm on the ground. I'm gonna try a little something right off a path. So uh, it's gonna be close if anything comes in. So possibly I can get some video. We'll see.
response. Gee. Took a long time, but finally got a response. Hope you all saw that. Probably could have let him come in a little bit more, but I was getting worried about the wind, so I took the shot. He came from the other side of the pond and came right around. He came around. He uh, came from the other side of the pond and I kind of set up where the wind is blowing into the pond. He didn't have much of a choice but to come without being able to smell me unless the wind circled like it had been a little while ago. So that was good. One shot, he's right down. Perfect. Let's go take a look. Well, a nice, uh, nice big coyote. About, I don't know, 35 pounds. Something along those lines, not sure. Looks pretty healthy. Finally. Finally down. Ugh. Yeah, nice. Nice coyote. Beautiful animal. Really nice guy out. Came in perfect. And I was right over. Had the collar here and I was back in here. On that uh, tree there. And uh, he came right in. Came out. Came out over on that uh, side of the pond and walked right around just like I wanted him to. Perfect. Came in perfect. Just like I wanted it. Kind of couldn't have set it up better. I was worried about one coming from behind, but uh, couldn't get around the pond that way, so worked out perfect. Well, that's a uh, coyote down uh, and right down, right in his tracks. Uh, I'm using the uh, Savage 220, uh, and I have got a slug in there with a little ballistic tip on it. Um, really nice gun, real nice shell, um, the, the, the combination of the two, uh, I haven't had a coyote move an inch, they just drop right in their tracks. Um, bought it for a uh, Sika season down in Maryland, but um, didn't get to shoot it down there, so I am using it right now for the uh, coyote season and then going to to have that gun for uh, deer season here and hopefully future trips down south to uh, do some more Sika hunting. But uh, shout out to Cape Gunworks who uh, uh, helped me pick this gun out, pick out the ammo, get everything set up, uh, mounted the scope and everything for me and uh, took nothing to get it sighted in. So um, special thanks to them. Uh, thank you very much. That's another one down. Um, perfect setup. Again, I'm using that uh, pup in distress. Seems to really get to him because I did call for a while with the uh, with the regular, um, just a rabbit in distress and uh, no response. But once you switch over to uh, the pup in distress or the pups, the screams, it just seems to get to him for some reason. They just have to investigate. So I. Uh, switched over and uh, work like a charm. Again, that uh, 220 Savage just pop and down they go. I'm really happy with the gun, um, having a good time with it. So uh, I can't complain, but uh, off to the next one. Hopefully is another one. Well, a uh, bit of a bummer with that one. Um, I'm gonna have to go uh, around pick up the uh, canoe in order to get across the water to pick that one up um, but I can do that later on today and I will uh, get that one back to the house but uh, he's not going anywhere so um, no pictures of the uh, 
the coyote right now because he's on the other side of a little bit of a river, but I'll sort that out later. If you like this video and other videos, please like and subscribe and uh, put a comment down below. Uh, we enjoy reading your comments, enjoy responding to them. Uh, thank you very much for watching.